The dead man has returned. The entire WWE Universe is in absolute awe. What a moment. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, The Undertaker. At WrestleMania, The Undertaker has the most revered, undefeated streak ever. Icons have been slayed. Legends destroyed. Listen to the list. Kane, Orton, Edge, Michaels, Triple H, Cena, all have fallen to The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Even the showcase of Immortals is overcome by darkness. The Phenom's opponent has got to know that the end is near on the grandest stage. Think of the incredible resume of The Undertaker. Won the Royal Rumble, conquered Hell in a Cell, and won 21 consecutive WrestleMania matches. Arguably the most incredible competitor in WWE history, and the decades of destruction continue. The wrath of the Reaper annihilates your body and your soul. Impossible to prepare for, unfeasible to predict. Every step the Phenom takes, you're one step closer to your demise. It is a grave mistake to assume that you will survive. And his opponent from Punjab, India, weighing in at 347 pounds, the great Kerry. I ran into this superstar backstage and I was shocked. I was appalled to hear them bad mouthing their opponent in this match. It's not bad mouthing, it's just some pre match mind games. We'll have to see if that strategy works, Byron, but I will say I was there with Corey and the language was colorful. Oh, good luck. You're in the fight of your life against the dead man. No disqualification rules in effect, which... Two-handed choke slam! The Undertaker in a battle. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. The dead man's still very much alive, despite taking what I can only describe as a hellacious maneuver. That was the home run shot that got robbed at the fence. And we just saw some serious offense. A no DQ stipulation means you have to throw your regular playbook out the window. Because it's not going to save you here. It's time to get extreme. You make a good point, Corey. Everyday offense just isn't going to cut it in this kind of match.
Uh-oh, he's searching for something. He grabbed the chair. Uh, now would be a good time to run. To the outside. This could get wild. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Oh, man. Timely reversal on Undertaker. Ooh. Smart strategy, attack the knee. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. <laughs> Setting him up for the flatliner. Oh, man, face first. Ah, uh, just cranking the head. He's taking this to the floor now. He takes control. A uh, bear hug, squeezing the breath out of them. Well, this isn't going to win the. Ah, uh, the bear hug, and a way to get out of it is being on display right here. Oh, what a clothesline. Ooh. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Terminating knee smash. Oh, targeting the stomach. That attack manages to shake up The Undertaker. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. There he goes, right into the corner. Wicked clothesline. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by countout. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. it right back with a reversal. Snap suplex. Bang! Boom! Oh! Chair in hand, bad intentions in mind. The ref still counting, might be a count out. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes, fishing for something beneath the ring. And here comes Old Faithful. The steel chair is in hand. Way to steer clear. Overhand connects. Holy, meet the barricade. Oh, oof. Oh, no, what could this be? Oh, don't do this. Hung up in the barricade. In a big boot. Eats a punch to the face. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Hey. The Undertaker shifting his eerie focus to the thousands in attendance. That'll stop the count, and this match will continue. I'm glad that wasn't the end of things. Choke slam! Shoulders down! Oh, rolled the shoulder out at the last moment. That's really as close as it gets. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. He grabbed the ladder. This is either going to pay off or completely backfire. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oof. Had it scouted and met with a back elbow. Headbutt to the back of the neck. How much longer can these superstars continue? Uh-oh. Return fire from The Undertaker. 
unpacks a well-placed punch. And he was ready for Undertaker. He's turning the tables. Overhand right lands. <laughs> what power! Tombstone pile driver! Taker just turned his lights out. He heads outside, count outs legal in this match. And as a couple of Hall of Famers once said, it's time to get the tables. Dropping the leg. Oh, look at this, just cranking the head. That's gotta hurt. Just cranking the head. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Cut. And Undertaker persevering to deliver some much-needed offense of his own. All that effort backing the dead man into a corner, and he still finds a way back to life. Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. Oh, man, by the skin of his teeth. She does he get him here? How this match is still going on defies all reasoning. Bam! He was waiting for him to make his move. 300 pound running DDT! The Undertaker with the cinch. The under and this has got to be it! Not a whole lot of luster behind that kick out. Oof, good punch. Nasty. He's executing on his plan perfectly. Yeah, he has really hit a brick wall here. Yeah. Oh, man. No surprise that what we're witnessing is trending. Forget trending on social media. The motion in the arena is charting on the Richter scale. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. This could be an opportunity. Compromised position here. Ow! All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Phew, that was close. And this one might be headed ringside. Returning to the ring now. Boom! Backbreaker! Undertaker counters. Rake right across the back. Uh-oh. off the offense with a nasty chop block. Boom! <laughs> Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Unleashed might and force. Oh boy, he's stalking him. Watching for an opening. This won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. It's a roundabout strategy, but it might work. The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Raining down elbows and escaping the bear hug. The WWE Universe willing these superstars on. Pumping. The dead man has him up. Stone pile driver. What devastation from the Undertaker. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Oh, 
my gosh! He reverses it. Military press. Ooh. Hits to the core like that'll render you useless. Stomping. Ouch. And up the turnbuckles we go. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Outside of the ring now. What's the... Canadian backbreak. This is an agonizing position to be in, but able to break the grip and escape. And a clothesline. And you can tell these attacks are disorienting him. Sustained attacks up in that area could cause impaired vision. He heads outside. Countouts legal in this match. A nice shot by The Undertaker. Now one of the best strikers in the business. Down with the leg drop. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, enough already. Undertaker draining the life out of his opponent. Undertaker is just doing whatever he wants now. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. The Undertaker scoops him up. Tombstone from The Undertaker. That's got to end it this time around. Incredible, absolutely incredible. And that prevents Undertaker's attack. Big boots! He thinks he has it! One, two, three. Somehow, some way, they weathered the storm. That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history. I can't imagine being able to celebrate, let alone stand, after a match like that. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now.